I think what's great about taking Creation of the Humanoids and making it the first program of my science fiction project is a chance to take a low-budget, unseen, cult, sci-fi, classic movie from the early 60s that hardly anyone's heard of and bring it up to date for modern audiences. Oh, you want to get on the film roster? Now she calls herself Giano. That's what she wants to do. When you get a lot of people together and they're all there for the same reason, I think it really brings out the best in people. Hopefully me too. One of the things we want to do is have everyone watch the film, which we're going to do in a minute, and then afterwards we'll have everyone comment on the film. This first robot was quite ungainly, and its functions were limited. But refinements came in rapid succession. And soon the R-20 was capable of all the thought processes and functions of a man. What would be interesting to me about remaking this film is there's a kernel of an idea here, which is that are, are humans nothing more than machines with souls? If you transfer the soul, if you cut off the leg, do you diminish the soul? I wouldn't change it too much because it, it isn't an, about the effects. The movie is about the, the human condition and all that. So I, th I think I would kind of stay and not make it a spectacle other than, yeah, when they tear the wires out of his arm. I would love to have seen, you know, that open up and, you know, do that for a little bit of a money shot of, of the effect. Were I you, were I directing it, I'd direct it in this style of acting. I enjoy it. And I think we all did after a while, even though the dialogue was so bizarre. What are you self-appointed defenders of the human race up to now? Why don't you beat it while you still have a beat to beat? Did I just, did I drop acid? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> the thing to do would be to winnow out the most winnable ideas and get rid of the, the chaff, as it were. I mean, this thing is basically a stage play, a radio show. Pussy! But you don't want to make it an action movie either. You know what's good about this movie is that, um, the different sides have good arguments. The flesh and blood guys have good arguments. And that's what make, that makes that makes good drama. That can be explored and kind of expanded. That's why that's why a movie like like Shane is a good movie because the, the bad guys have a good argument for getting the farmers out of there. And you realize this is a, this drama cannot be resolved easily. I, I love the serious aspect of the themes and there are things that, like we said before, were just touched on very briefly that could be expanded, which is definitely what I would do. If I were going to remake this movie, I would take the same themes, the same tone, the same basic dialogue, and just revamp it and update it for a modern audience so that we bring the world of science fiction into the present, even though it's still basically 50s and 60s sci-fi. What I think people are going to say about my science fiction project is, that was cool. Take an old movie, update it for a modern audience, and hear about it from science fiction fans. My Science Fiction Project!